Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This will be our third video. Uh, so today we're going to talk about, we're actually going to talk about how we're going to build our application. And we're going to start getting involved with uh, the API and learn a little bit about that and what that is. And we talked a little bit about it, but so we're going to do some other information with it. So I have a screenshot of what we're going to create. And let me go find it. I had it here somewhere. Oh, there we go. So we're basically going to build an app like this, something like this, uh, except we're going to use, maybe not Portland, we'll use Pittsburgh, but we can use different cities and so forth. So it's not going to be super fancy, but it's going to be okay. And so when you get this uh, in the, uh, this, well, the module, I'll have some images out there. So we'll have assets, we'll have images that you can use uh, along with this so for example let me find the sunny shine right here so like the sunshine now these um, you can use in your app but you can't resell them because I own the license to them and I can't resell them to anyone else um, so that would not be good um, so like cloud I have here and this is just for us to create application so w there's a bunch of different images so I have all this information we could grab it. If you want to grab your own stuff, that's fine, but I already have this available for you. All right, so that is generally what we're going to do today. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to, let me pull up Chrome, let me pull up a new window. So generally what we need to do is we need to uh, come up with a way to use free data. So there's so much free data that's out there for people to use when capturing information. So whether app has um, free data. So let me go to the website. So I would suggest you do the same thing. So I'm gonna to go to openweather.map.org and maybe it'll come up here sometime. Uh, wants to know your location, sure. All right, so this is where we could get some data from. Uh, and now some of it is cost, but we're gonna do the free method. So let's go to API. And so they have all these different selections here that you could do. You could do current weather, which gives you the current weather for a location including over 200,000 cities. That's a lot. Uh, current weather is frequent up, up, frequently updated based on global models that it gets from. Uh, data is available in JSON, XML, or HTML. So we're going to focus on JSON or JSON. Everyone says it differently. Uh, there's the five-day, three-hour forecast, 16-day um, so there's all these, there's a history bulk. You see there's so much data out there that they're able to provide all this information. And some of it costs money, but for what we're trying to do, we don't care about that. So we're going to be worried about the five-day, um, three-hour forecast. So that's what we're going to kind of focus on. That will give us five days of forecast. It's available at any location or any city. That'll give us uh, five days of forecast, including which includes weather, uh, data every three hours a uh, forecast is available in JSON so that's what we're going to use and it's available for free um, in all other pay accounts so let's click on the key so when I click on a key it kind of walks you through and gives you an example so it says you can search weather forecast for five days with okay we already said that and said so there's a possibility to receive central district city town which parameters so um, let's see here, hit the example. All right, so that example is we made a web request, and now what we're doing is we're getting information back. So it's providing us, it looks like coordinates, so we're going to probably be using coordinates. It's providing us uh, pressure, sea level, etc. So let's scroll down here a little bit. And this right here, let's see if I can find it. It's just the, looking for, yeah. So this right here has an example of an API call. So it has the address, which is api.openweathermap.org, data 2.5, forecast. And this is where the URL actually ends at, right here. So let me actually pull up Sublime. Mm, don't want to download a new one. So if I copy this in here, copy, there we go, and paste it in here. As you'll see here, this right here ends the uh, the URL. See, that's where the, um, that's the URL. 
but after the question mark is the query string. We have Q equals London, so query equals London, comma, US, and mode equals XML. So what that means is, if we come up here, we're saying that, hey, we want to pull up the, um, the uh, this is a parameter, okay? So we're passing a parameter over and saying that we want the, the weather for London. And then we have comma here, and we have US, and mode equals XML. So we also want the US weather, and the mode in this sense is saying that we want the, the information to come back as um, XML versus JSON. So if I click on this, I'm, we're going to try to change this around and see if we can get something different, just to show you what I mean. So let's copy this. If I click on it, as you see here, it pulls it back in XML. Uh, it says London, uh, name, country, US, it might be just London, uh, London, US. And as you see here, it has dates. Now, if I go over here and paste that URL in here, let's see if it allows us to put JSON in. So if I type in JSON, hit enter. All right, so here's an example. So we try to make a request and said, give it to us in JSON. And it's an invalid API key. So apparently I had to pass a key over in order to make that work. And I had the invalid one, so I wasn't able to retain it. So that's pretty good information though. All right, so in here it shows you other examples. It shows you how to do it by ID. So if you have the name of the city, um, GSP coordinates, so you could do coordinates. So we're actually going to use coordinates in this one because then we could use Google Maps to go out and get the coordinates and then provide the coordinates. We could even do zip code. Well, we'll see what we can do. All right, so let's go back out the API. Oops. We need to sign up for this. So I have never signed up for this. So uh, as of recent, I signed up with a different account before we use a new account. So I'm going to click subscribe. And as you see here, there's all these different ones. A startup, forty dollars a month. I mean, it could be as much as two grand a month. That's pretty expensive. So I'm doing f uh, free. So that means I have calls per minute. I can't go over sixty calls per minute, which is pretty good though. Uh, current weather API. That's good. Five days, three hour forecast. That's good for what we're trying to accomplish. Um, we'll get the weather maps API 1.0, not the 2.0 because it has historical. Uh, no bulk download, that's fine. And so what we're trying to accomplish, it's fine. We don't need the latest and greatest, okay? So click on Get API Key and Start. And let's see here. Sign up and get API Key. App it on your account page. Start using API for free and so forth. So click Sign Up. And give yourself a name. Don't use my name. Use something else. I'm going to use my Point Park address and I'll give it a password. All right. I am 16 and older. I hope I agree with the privacy. Yes. Um, I consent to receive communication. I don't want communications. I, I'm not a robot. And I click create account. All right. Sure. Um, how and where did you hear about us? Um, Google, because I Googled you. And purpose would be education and save. All right, so API for agricultural. All right, try our, try our simple and fast APIs to satellite. All right, I'm not worried about that. All right, so let's see here. All right, so now if you, uh, there's a setup button here, and then there's API keys. I don't care if you see my API key, because this is just for educational purposes. So here's your API key, and this will be, you'll have your own key. Um, you, could you could come up with a name and generate it, but that's the key I'm using. Uh, services, just shows you what product that you have. Billing plans, free. Um, payments, map editor, all this stuff is junk to me because it doesn't mean anything um, but for all I'm worried about is that API key we're going to need that API key will be activated and ready for using within a couple of hours so we can't even use it yet uh, you can generate as many API keys as needed for your subscription we accumulate the total number from all of them so that's the default but if I wanted to create a new key and call it um, uh, 
weather app Android. I could do that, generate it, and it generates a key for me. So I can say that's the weather app Android, and I'm going to use that key right there. Okay, so that will be for our starters. Get things going here. All right, so once again, I'm over here at this, uh, went back to the screen, um, at the app ID here. So um, we've already signed up. So once again, it just shows you an example how to use this. It shows you the forecast uh, ID, and it has the app ID, whatever the app ID is. And then you could access that, and it pulls up a bunch of stuff right here, which this is in JSON. Um, JSON, so it has information wherever that's at. All right, so what to do next? Uh, let's go ahead and get our app started. I'm going to create a new project. Drag it over here. I'm going to call it uh, my weather app. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit, this is fine for me. I'm going to hit next, uh, empty activity. Next, uh, just going to keep it main activity. You could change that, but I just keep even if it's the same because I don't care. So, so let's let this build and I'll come back once it's built. So it finally built up for me. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to set things up. We're probably not going to code anything in this video. We're just going to get our environment set up. So what we need to do is we need to use this library right here called Volley. Uh, Volley is uh, it's an HTTP library. It makes networking for Android apps easier and more important. So it's an app that we'll use for, it's a Google thing, so we'll be able to send a simple request, we'll be able to set up a request queue, make a standard request, and implement something. So what I need to do is, uh, first step is reading the instructions. I need a clone to get this library, Volley. So I am going to copy this. I'm gonna go into my terminal. So you guys should be pretty good with this. Probably here. So let's do clear. Actually, let me see where I'm at. I'm going to make a new directory. I'm going to call it Volley. I'm going to CD into it. All right. Okay. All right. So actually, I'm not in there. So let's see here. That's weird. Okay, I am. I think I'm there. Let me see something here. Touch test.xml. Um, okay, I am there. All right, so I am there. So uh, let's do this again. So let's remove test.xml. Uh, what here? What's going on here? All right, so let's clear this. All right. So. So let's get uh, do the get. So get clone. Actually, I, ha I think I have a paste in here. So edit paste. Yep, and hit enter. So it's gonna clone that. So I should have that now. So let me go and see. So if I do last and then cd into volley, I should have all my files. There we go. So we have files there. So we're going to need to utilize this to get some information. We're going to import this project into our application. Okay. Okay. So now let's go back over to Android and let's go over to file. New. We're going to import a new module. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is have these selections here. I want to import Gradle project because it was a Gradle project. I'm going to hit next. Now I'm going to go and locate that file that I just imported in. Uh, so let me go here. I think it was Volley. Go to my users. There it is. Hit open. Specify location of Gradle or Android Eclipse op project. Specify location of the Gradle. Hmm. All right. So drill into it again. Didn't like that. And I think. Let's see here. 
think this right here would be fine. Let's see if it likes that. There's a wrapper. Hmm. Let's just hit this and see what happens. Doesn't like that either. All right, so I had to play around with it to figure out what I was doing wrong. So I know what happened is I called the library volley, and so, and then the other library is volley. So what I did is I called it volley, and then I drilled into it again. You see where I have volley, volley. If I did that, I, I selected that. So now I selected the direct part. Now it works. It has volley, volley. That was my mistake. And then I'll hit finish. Took me a while to play around with to see what I was doing wrong and then I do it off while I was doing it all right great old project I'll pause this while this is in sync as you see it's still building uh, some stuff fell here wow lots of stuff fell all right so greater project sync failed basically functioning and the bugging will not work properly uh, let's see here the specified Android build tool version 25 is ignored as it as it below the minimum support it is 28 so update tools version and sync project open file so I guess I'll try that oh geez all right so this is great so I'm gonna teach you something that's obsolete all right perfect configuration provided is obsolete and has been replaced by with compile only okay so some of the stuff I was going to teach you is no longer available that's great doing while I was on break there was a file that said remove the mini SDK and push it to another location I clicked on it and it seemed like my thing built so I'm sorry I did that while I was not doing it so that should do it if you have problems with this part just email me set me up a video or a screenshot what you're seeing and we could probably walk through it all right so let's see if we get, get moving so let's go down to Gradle scripts, see if I can find build Gradle module app. This one here, double click on it. And you should get this information. I increased my font so that we have better location of what's going on here, at least. All right, so let's see if this works. So we're gonna go down to our dependencies and this will probably not work. And we want to, we have to add volley two here. So we're gonna do compile, I think it, might have something about compile only now. All right, configuration provided is obsolete and has been replaced with compile only. So we might, the compile might not work. So what I wanted to do is compile project, see, compile project, and then I'll put that thing that we had in there, which was volley, and that right there. I think that's all I need what I see all right so um, it brought up this thing here it says sync now so let's click sync now that seemed to work for now all right now I did bring up this highlight thing but it seems to be fine so let's see if it actually works so go into Java let's go into main activity double click on it and let's see here uh, over right I'm gonna hit enter up here I'm gonna see if we can access one of the libraries that we downloaded. Request Q. All right, so you, as you see here, it says com.android.volley. So that's good. That means that we were able to, oops, let me hit that, edit undo. So that means that we are able to get the library. So we did do that correctly, surprisingly. I have doubt on myself sometimes, guys. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for, for this video. Uh, have a lot of stuff down here but I'm gonna clear that uh, so right now we have this set up so this video will be the video for today I'll have more videos uh, tomorrow it is almost 12 o'clock 
And I've been working since 7 a.m. So it's been a long day. So I will uh, close on this, and then our next video will actually start Im implementing the volley um, for web requests. So we'll actually start making web requests. And uh, you've seen we already set up our API, so we'll be rocking and rolling here before you know it. Thanks for watching, and talk to you soon. Good day.